I'm Christy and this is Crotage. And today I thought I'd bring you into my kitchen and show you the appliances that I find to be necessities for myself for doing a raw food diet. And if you're just starting out, don't get overwhelmed. It actually took me a period of three years to collect these things and I did just fine in between. But these are the things that I've ended up with and I've had all of these things um, over um, between one and three years. So I've done without them and then I've also used them for a minimum of a year. So I find these things to be really, really useful and I find that I'm able to pretty much make whatever I want to uh, using these items. So I thought I would show them to you. Now like any cuisine, raw food really requires its own set of tools and these are the ones that I have found helpful. Now I'm going to show you the things that I have, kind of in the order that I got them, and then I'm gonna tell you how important they are to me. You may find that you like different brands, that you like different sizes, but I'm gonna show you what I've got and why I have those already. The first thing that I got ever was my Vita Prep. This is a Vitamix high powered blender, and I don't think that I could do raw without this. I use this every single day. Um, primarily I make smoothies in this and the beauty of the high powered blender is the homogenization and it just it just makes this amazingly smooth texture that is so important to me I know a lot of people just use regular blenders and do fine with them for me this is very important because texture is so important to me I also make cheeses and soups and sauces all kinds of things in this I use it all the time this is um, definitely the necessity for me um, beyond a knife and cutting board. Highly recommend it. This is a food processor. This happens to be Cuisinart. All the things I have are super heavy duty and I got um, with the the idea in mind that they're going to be around for my entire lifetime. This is a 14 cup food processor. I would not recommend getting a smaller size in this just because if you are making breads or crackers or anything where you're using a couple of trays on the dehydrator or if you're making food for company, you're going to need the space. Believe me, it seems like a lot, but um, just for me, I fill this up all the time and use it. So this is great. have not had any problems with any of these. With the exception of my juicer, just because user error, um, I needed to get some help from the factory. And it was way outside of the warranty time, and they sent me the part for free and showed me where to get it fixed for 40 bucks. So, awesome customer service on Breville, which um, is one of the reasons I chose Breville. So, my juicer, it's the third thing I got. Um, I would definitely not go without my juicer either. At this point, I'm, I'm really attached to all of these items and I use them all the time. My juicer I definitely use daily. This is like a shot of vitamins and minerals every day and, and I, I love it. This is a really cheap item. This is a spiralizer. You put a zucchini or a cucumber, whatever you choose to make in here. A blade goes in here. What you do is you turn this and noodles come out right here. Uh, I find that I use this weekly to make pastas. It just really provides a lot of extra variety that you can't get with other things. You can also use uh, like a vegetable peeler if you want to make ribbons instead of doing the pasta. However, you're going to spend um, you know ten times the amount of time um, instead of if you use something like this, which is going to be really quick. And and that's true with a lot of these items. You can do them other ways, but the time that these save, it just makes them really doable rather than like a huge chore. So all of these things are time savers. The next thing I got was my dehydrator. Here it is with the top on it. It's an Excalibur. This is a nine tray. <clears throat> Excuse me. For the same reason as the food processor, I would definitely get the nine tray as opposed to one of the smaller ones just because you can see here the space between the trays is about two fingers which is fine for crackers or for breads or for for most of the things that you do but also I'd say for about 50 percent of the food items that I prepare they're taller than that so if I'm making cookies or like a calzone I'll end up taking three of the trays out just to to leave enough room so you definitely I took one out here so you can see 
you definitely want to have all those trays because if, you, if you're taking trays out to make extra room, you're ending up with about half the space to actually dehydrate. So the dehydrator comes with the screen. They all have this. I would also recommend getting the Teflex sheets. These are actually made of cloth. You don't want to cut on them or anything, but if you treat them well, they're sort of wax coated. They will, they will last you for years and years. So I love the dehydrator. The dehydrator actually was one of the very last things that I got uh, for my kitchen. And I held off for a long time thinking I wouldn't really use it. And I have found that I use it weekly. Now I fill it up the whole thing and make a lot of different um, food items that I wouldn't be able to make without it that I'm now really dependent on like bread and crackers that I use all the time for sandwiches and that kind of thing. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is my handy dandy cutting board, good knife. So I have a small cutting board that's BPA free that I use for snacks and um, just cutting limes, that kind of thing. And then a nice large cutting board, I prefer wood. This is bamboo, sustainable. And then I actually bought this knife and quite a few other knives at a restaurant supply, which I would highly recommend because you can get used items, at least at the restaurant supply I go to. And um, you can see actually on this one the handle is melted, which obviously I didn't do. But someone did. Um, but it's a great knife. feels great in my hand. I love knives. I have kind of a knife thing. And um, those are really important to me, and you can get them really cheap at that kind of place. So um, that is it for me. I hope that was helpful to you. Those are the things that I use, and I find um, I can make, like I said, anything I want on a raw food diet using those, using those items. So live love. See you soon.